Now, the bill has also enhanced the federal Medicaid matching funds. And during this unwinding, millions of people are expected to lose coverage, and that could reverse recent gains in coverage, too. While the number of Medicaid enrollees may be disenrolled during the unwinding period is highly uncertain, experts estimate between 7.8 and 24 million people could lose Medicaid coverage this year alone. Folks, the lawmakers are taking action. Billions of federal aid are being used towards new relief payments. In a one-time direct check worth $100,000 will be deposited. This necessary action as millions of Americans continue to struggle to the crisis. And while the federal government is dealing with a debt crisis, many local states have a cash surplus in rainy day funds. As a result, 27 states are considering cutting taxes or eliminating them altogether. According to National Association of State Budget Officers, there has been two short years of widespread budget surpluses amid recent state policy. The Institution of Taxation and Economic Policy suggests that many states have now tax cut fever and are looking at offering property tax cuts, rebate checks, and reducing the amount of income taxes paid. In the case of Mississippi and Arkansas, cutting state income tax altogether is their plan. But CBS has noted that there are a number of reasons that state lawmakers have provided for the move. It includes making their states more economically competitive, boosting their growth. That amount is larger than normal because of an additional energy relief benefit that required eligible residents to have applied by March 31st. The energy relief portion of the payout is non-taxable. And many eligible residents have already received their payments. But if you applied later, you should check to see your check by the end of the month. Because even the Colorado governor has said that state legislators announced plans that they would see and help ease property tax increases. It's an effort to help homeowners and businesses in Colorado. The plan would reduce the residential assessment rate from 7.5 to 6.5%. So it makes things a little bit easier for the people that are suffering the most with stimulus checks. But still, this is not enough. We have a ton of news about the Fort Stimulus Check, Social Security Benefits, SSI, and SSDI. Continue watching this video because you don't want to miss out on this important information. There's a lot of news that you guys have to know. An important date that millions of Americans need to be aware of is coming up very soon. The federal government is preparing to issue the next round of direct payments, and that'll be worth nearly $1,000. Details are finally being finalized on the Loan Forgiveness Program. And month after month, the Social Security Administration sends out monthly benefits to retired workers. In addition to that, Social Security is responsible for sending supplemental security income benefits, disability, and survivor benefits. While the May payments continue, it is going to be worth knowing who will receive their money in the first days of June. SSR recipients are eligible for a maximum benefit of $1,000 a month and $1,300 for a married couple, where both spouses are eligible for the program. But it's important to mention that the payments are calculated individually and vary from one beneficiary to another. SSR recipients receive their payments on the first day of each month, or if the first day falls on a weekend or holiday. The payment is moving forward to the earliest business days of the previous month and those who begin receiving their social security payments before the month can receive benefits every single time. So folks, just know this, based on the scheduling, the SSI recipients will receive their June payment on June 1st. In addition to that, SSI will send a second payment on June 30th, which corresponds to the July check since the first day of that month is Saturday and the payment date will be brought forward. But if the U.S. breaches the debt ceiling and defaults on its debt, there could be significant implications for social security beneficiaries. The debt ceiling represents the max amount of money the U.S. government can borrow, and if it's not raised or eliminated, the government may not have enough funds to meet its financial obligations, including social security payments. Experts warn that in such a scenario, social security checks may be delayed. The National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare has cautioned that, without a debt limit increase, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and other payments may not be made on time and in full. It means that beneficiaries could experience a delay in receiving their benefits. And while the fate of President Biden's student loan forgiveness program remains up in the air, borrowers should definitely expect to resume payments before the end of August. Because even the Education Secretary has confirmed their repayment date during a Senate appropriations hearing. The emergency period is over, and we're preparing our barbers to restart. 
the Biden administration plans to restart the student loan payments no later than 60 days after June 30th. Based on that schedule, you can expect to resume payments on or before August 29th. Payments have been paused since March 2020, during the early days of the crisis, and there had been speculation that the Biden administration may try to extend the pause yet again, especially if the forgiveness plan gets stuck down by the U.S. Supreme Court, but that's no longer on the table. Now, Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves the gentlewoman from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Without what? The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Republicans are committed to preparing America's workforce for the 21st century. This reauthorization of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, WIOA, will not help our country live. Is receiving Social Security. They're not going to see that impact in their checks until January um, of the new year. But this is going to help a lot of folks really, truly get through these high inflationary times. As we just heard from Caleb and Brian, 8.2 percent. We are not seeing inflation decline just yet. It is, as Caleb was putting it, sticky high still. Um, and so right now we're seeing a lot of folks, but particularly those Americans that are on a fixed income, really struggling to buy groceries or pay for gas or electricity. So this is definitely going to go. The Secretary of Finance has also said that to apply, residents must provide valid Social Security numbers, Delaware residential mailing addresses, and active identification cards as well. This bill was meant to be passed by lawmakers in April. The money is meant to help offset the cost of living increase in the state as brought by inflation. Residents of Idaho have until the end of the year to apply for the rebate, up to 300 bucks that is, and 600 for joint filers. Not only that, but in order to qualify for the rebate, Idaho people must have been a full-year resident for 2020 and 2021, and file their 2020 and 2021 individual income tax as well. The amount one will receive varies due to one's financial status. Idaho State Legislature and the Governor approved a rebate package in September during a special session at the State Legislature. It was part of a larger billion-dollar piece of legislation that included tax cuts, education spending, and other initiatives. The Governor's office noted that the rebate could give people affected by inflation some financial relief. According to the Idaho State Tax Commission, some 800,000 rebates worth $500 million are estimated to be sent out by the end of March. State tax authorities started sending out the rebates in late September and have plans to dole out even more payments as additional residents qualify. The Idaho State Tax Commission said that rebates can come via direct deposit or as a check in the mail, but any outstanding tax payments due to the state will be deducted from the final rebate by tax authorities. Now, if you are an Idaho resident, you can use the Where's My Rebate tool to track the status of your check. Nancy Pelosi has long been known for her ability to rally Democratic lawmakers to get tough votes for important piece of bills. Nancy Pelosi, who has led the House 